For the first time in over a year, more than 150 national veteran cemeteries are open to the public this Memorial Day without COVID restrictions. CBS's David Martin was at Arlington National Cemetery today, where families and hallowed traditions are returning. It was raw and raining this morning at Section 60 in Arlington National Cemetery, where the fallen from Iraq and Afghanistan are buried. Sarah Dreesen's brother, Special Forces Captain Andrew Ross, was killed in Afghanistan in 2018. He was 29, newly married, and planning to start a family. Instead, he came home to Section 60. Most of the people who rest here chose to do this post 9-11. That most of these kids were kids when this happened. They chose to go into this very long war and give their lives for you, for me. Marine Lance Corporal Terry Honeycutt was just 19 when he stepped on a landmine in Afghanistan in 2010. His youthful idealism is etched on his headstone. Next week, he'd be uh, 30 years old. His mother, Christine, comes here just to be close. It just makes me feel better to sit and talk to him. For the past year, COVID has kept Arlington closed to all but family. I have never seen Arlington be more empty. Does that make a difference in the way you feel when you go there? I like to see Arlington have visitors because every single person that's buried there deserves to be remembered. Arlington is opening up to visitors again, and Ryan Mannion Bork has organized an army of volunteers to make sure everyone here is honored. Making sure that these families know that somebody over the course of this weekend spent time to stand in front of their loved one's grave and to remember them. Ryan's brother Travis was buried here in 2010. In the 11 years since, look how many more headstones have been added. Now there's so many rows that follow. Andrew Ross, killed in 2018, is in the next to last row. Now with all American troops coming home from Afghanistan and with visitors coming back to Arlington, we can all say a Memorial Day prayer. Please, let there be no more rows of headstones in Section 60. David Martin, CBS News, Arlington National Cemetery.